Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari joining me now at 11 o'clock. And I got to tell you, this is the time where I do like walking on the beach. I know, and I've actually yeah. done a few stories on the environmental impacts, not only, to, of course, to the beaches, to the sand, but to sea turtles, to birds, our lifestyle, and really those beings that just love to be with us on the beach as well. It impacts them. So we do have to think long term when it comes to loving our gorgeous environment here in Florida. I want to start with the tropics tonight because as of 11 o'clock at night, that's typically when we get our latest advisories from the National Hurricane Center. And I have some brand new information for you. We are in another tropical depression in the tropics developing in the southern portions of the Caribbean. I'll go ahead and help you breathe a sigh of relief because this is not going to be having any impact on the United States, but it is starting to get its act together almost in the exact same region that Ian did weeks ago when it was starting to kind of churn up and get its act together as well. Just over the ABC Islands through the northwestern coast of Venezuela there. Let me take you through time. It is forecast to become a tropical storm as early as tomorrow morning. If it becomes a tropical storm, which will be with maximum sustained winds at 40 miles per hour. It will get a name. The next name on the list is Julia. As we go through the rest of the week and into the weekend, it's actually forecast to become a category one storm as it approaches Central America, and then it will start to show some signs of weakening the remnants of that. We'll keep a close eye on, especially early next week. Some models want to take it up through the Bay of Campeche. Others want to take it out towards the Pacific. It will be, again, not a concern for us, but something we'll, of course, be keeping a very, very close eye on. Again, there's a lot of mountainous terrain and a lot of land, a lot of land interaction and wind shear through the Gulf that actually will help deflect that energy down from us. So that is why we're not worried here at home, but we still have plenty of hurricane season to go. So we'll be keeping a close eye out there.